Okay guys, this video is by request. Um, I am currently at the Middle Village road test site in Queens, New York. And currently I am on Juniper, Juniper Boulevard North, all right? Um, make sure that when you get here, um, if you put into your GPS, or if you do not have exact directions on how to get here, make sure you get to Juniper Boulevard North. Um, because it is a Juniper, Juniper Boulevard South and it's right on the other side of this park. So um, sometimes people get confused and they wait on the other side. All right, so, so that that does not happen to you make sure you get to Juniper Boulevard North, all right? Uh, now, um, I'm again, I'm based out of Brooklyn. Um, I do do uh, take people to do the road tests in Queens, um, but I have not been to this area very much. I have been here a few times. I have taken a few students here, uh, but I do not have intimate knowledge of this area. Uh, but um, I have, uh, I, I just did a little run, a run through the area myself before I shot the video just to see how the, um, the roads are and um, how the streets are configured and what tricky things there might be. Uh, what I'll tell you is that this is a very residential area. Um, uh, most of the roads are one-way roads. Um, um, there are a few two-way roads here. Um, such as the one that I'm on now, June, Juniper Boulevard is a two-way road. Um, and then there's another, there's another few bigger roads over here that are two-way. And then there's one very small, very narrow road. Um, I, I, I'll, most likely I'll be on that road at some point during the video. And I think that road is 62nd Avenue or 62nd Place or something like that. You know how y'all do out here in Queens. <laughs> one, one street will have five different names. 62nd Place, 62nd Avenue, 62nd Street, 62nd Terrace. You know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm here. And um, I'm going to do this video. Um, it might be a, a little bit generic, um, but I'll try to be as detailed uh, with you um, as possible. Um, again, the area is, is residential. Um, the only thing I don't like about the area is that it has a lot of blind corners. And blind corners are places where the street might be at a funny angle. Um, and then you have parked cars on a, on either side of you and as you move up past the stop sign It's very difficult to see traffic until you get Very, you know too far out So, um, I, um, so I saw that um, there's a lot of stop signs um, There's a few always stop signs over here. So you want to be familiar with those types of things. All right So I'm about to start the video Okay, as in all road test sites, uh, one of the trickiest things you can do is pull out into traffic. All right, so um, uh, and this area is no different. Um, again, you're on Juniper Boulevard, which is a, a relatively large road. It's a large two-way road. Um, so your challenge here is to make sure that you are looking properly for traffic. All right, so you're gonna use your mirrors and you're going to turn around and look over your shoulder. All right, let me just put the camera outside the window. All right. So um, if anything, if you want to know what the proper way to observe and to check your blind spots when you're pulling out of um, traffic, just check one of my um, videos out, um, the one that talks about observation. All right, so anyway, uh, here we are. You see what you see in the mirror. Um, it's a relatively quiet area, but it is a big street and it is very important to keep checking for traffic um, as you're pulling out. Okay, I'm pulling out into traffic, looking over my shoulder several times. I'm pulling out here. Uh, since there's an ice cream truck, I have to go around the ice cream truck and onto the yellow 
line, all right? Um, um, otherwise, if, there was, if there's no obstruction in the way, there's no reason why you should be able to be pulling out and having to drive on a yellow line. So unless there's something in your way, um, you should be able to pull out and not touch that yellow line. All right, um, I'm approaching 79th Street here. Um, I'm going to make a left. I would imagine that this is one of the first turns you could make. There's another street further up which I believe is 80th Street, they could pro they most likely will tell you to turn there. All right? All right, so this is a, a, a residential one-way road. Pretty straightforward. There's nothing tricky here. Um, I'm coming up across the stop sign. Um, this is 62nd Avenue. This is the road that I was talking about earlier that's a very narrow two-way road. All right, so I have a stop sign. I'm the only one that has a stop sign here. Um, and again, this is a very, um, I'm coming across 62nd Avenue. And you just have to make sure you look properly for traffic here. All right. Um, this is a place where it is difficult to see. And the road is very narrow. So, for example... Um, if you, if I was to turn on this road, or you were to turn on this road, um, um, you can't see properly here. I'm hopefully I'm catching the left side, my left side properly. But there's a there's a um, a jeep here, and I cannot see anything coming up that road until it it, it gets to the jeep. So so uh, for example, if your examiner asks you to make a, a right turn here. Um, Unless you know how to handle this situation, most people will move too far out into the road and then their turn will come out too wide. So what you want to do here is, even though you cannot see properly on the left-hand side, what you're going to do is, once your mirror, your side mirror right here, once that gets to the end of the corner, you're going to start turning your steering wheel. <laughs> All right? Turn, that's if you're making a right turn. So if you're making a right turn, once your mirror hits the hits the end of the uh, the the sidewalk, make one full revolution of your of your steering wheel, one 360 degree turn to the right. Then as you move forward, you keep looking for traffic on your left, and you will naturally turn into the road without being too wide and you may need to give it a little bit more of a turn more than 360 degrees all right so I almost turned my wheel all the way to the right just to make this turn all right let me adjust the camera all right so i'm going down to 80th street um they may take you down this way. Again, I'm still on 62nd Avenue. Um, again, if you notice, a lot of the roads I'm coming up to are one-way roads. So that's a good thing. Now, if you are nervous about narrow roads or you're not good with narrow type situations, then, um, then you may want to get practice with that. Uh, but what I do know about Queens is that a lot of the roads here are like this, a narrow two-way roads. So most of you, if you already live in Queens, you're probably used to roads like this. So you know how to drive on them, you know how to handle them. So on roads like this, you try to stay to your right, try not to, but not so close to the right where it looks like you're going to hit the park cars. Uh, try not to stay directly in the middle um, uh, and then when in, in areas where the road is very tight, um, you may have to uh, pull over to the side and stop. All right, here is um, an intersection. I don't know if they're going to take you here, uh, but this is the intersection of 62nd Avenue and Caldwell. All right, now in my experience, a lot of times the examiners, when they take people to certain um, intersections, um, normally, if they do not say anything, you just go straight, all right? Now, you could get to this intersection and I could see a situation where the examiner does not say anything to you, 
all right and you may even ask them okay which way shall i go and the examiner should, may say something to you like sir or ma'am you're the one driving you make the decision all right now if they say something to you like that normally that me or they don't say anything at all usually that means there's only one way to go and at this intersection there's only one way to go if you look ahead you see you cannot go straight because it says do not enter and if you look at the road um, on the right hand side there's a one-way sign so that means Caldwell Avenue on the right hand side is a one-way and also if you look to the left hopefully the camera shows it Caldwell Avenue on the left side is a one-way also so here there is only one way to go <laughs> so it is very possible that if the examiner if an examiner took you this way they you can get to this intersection and they will would say absolutely nothing why because they will expect you to be observant enough to notice that this there is only one way to go at this intersection all right so i'm going to make my right i stopped at my stop sign it's a regular stop sign so that means i have to look for traffic for from the left all right this is also a tricky intersection uh, what I've noticed about this area is that um, it, um, the area is not set up like a, a normal um, uh, a normal um, grid system where it's nice square rectangular blocks. Here, um, it could be a tri triangular blocks. You know, the, the, the road, the intersections could be at a funny angle. Um, so things like that. Also, now you have here a road that comes to an end. Um, I, I can only make a left or right here. So I'm going to make a right. So moving up past the stop sign. This is also another very narrow road that I'm turning onto. So again, my mirror is at the end of the corner. I'm turning. I actually had to turn the wheel more than one full circle so that that turn would not be too wide. All right. Right now this road is, what is this? I think this is, oh yeah, it says Dry Harbor Road. All right, so this road curves around. So that's some of the things you might see in this area is curved roads, um, funny intersections, um, angular intersections. Um, and uh, this is taking me back to 63rd Avenue. I'm going to make a right turn here. Uh, this should be Juniper Boulevard North again. 82nd Street. <clears throat> yes, yes, I'm on Juniper Boulevard North. All right, so I'm going to go down back towards the park. <clears throat> now, I don't know if they're going to take you in that direction where I just came to that street, um, but it is possible, you know, because it's, it wasn't that far away from where you start your road test at. And normally they don't take you very far from where you start your road test at. Somewhere with, usually they try to stay within a four to five block radius from where you start. All right, uh, for this video, I'm just gonna stay on this side of Juniper Boulevard, of the park, on the north side. Okay, this time I'm going down 79th Street, uh, which when you start your road test, uh, 79th Street is very likely to be your first left turn. All right. All right here's a narrow area here with a double park vehicle. I can fit, uh, but be very cautious um, on a road test where you're passing narrow areas. Either just wait for the vehicle to move if it looks like they'll move at any point um, soon. Um, if not, move through that area very cautiously, very slowly. Um, you don't want to give the examiner any um, 
sense that you might hit something. All right. Now that's the 62nd Avenue right here. I could go down straight, but let me show you the other side of 62nd Avenue. The last time I was here, I made a right turn. This time I'm going to make a left turn, which actually will take me back towards Juniper Boulevard, all right? So I'm looking left and right again. I'm at that blind corner again. It's very difficult to see. I'm starting to turn. I still cannot see the road properly. Now I can see I'm already in the road. And you see that there's a car coming. And you see he just stopped there waiting for me, right? That's how narrow this road is. And that's what you might have to do sometimes is you may have to stop and let another vehicle go by you um, and then proceed, all right? That's when you're on this road, 62nd Avenue. Right now, I'm at the corner of 62nd and 78th Street. There's an always stop sign here. So always stop signs, you only have to stop one time and you only should stop one time, all right? If you stop twice at an always stop sign when you did not have to, then you can actually fail for um, impeding traffic. All right. So again, if you notice, a lot of these roads, a lot of the crossroads are one ways. So that's a good thing. But again, this road right here, 62nd Avenue, this could be a potential issue if you're not used to narrow roads like this. All right. So here I am. I'm coming up on um, uh, back into Juniper Boulevard. Um, this road is at an angle. I'm at a stop, I'm coming to a stop sign here, leading into Juniper, all right. Now here, because I'm coming in to the road at an angle, it makes it very difficult to see traffic on my left. All right, so I'm gonna try to turn the camera around so you can probably get a view of that. Hopefully you can see it, all right. So it's very difficult to see traffic here. So I'm gonna move out. Then I'm going to start to make this turn. There's a bike, I'm just going to wait for the bike. Because bikes do have the right of way. All right, so if the bike is on the road already and you're coming from a stop sign, don't try to speed out in front of the bike. Um, the bike actually has the right of way, unless the bike also has a stop sign, all right? Um, all right, so I'm gonna Drive off here. Try not to touch that yellow line. It's another road, 76th Street. I'm going to go down a little bit further just in case they do take you down further. Seventy-fifth place. Maybe I go all the way down to the end. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, it's a stop sign. This road comes to an end, so you have no choice but to make either a left or a right here. The examiner should be telling you which way to go. I'm stopping at the stop sign. I'm looking for traffic. And um, I did not make a second stop there, but you should make a second stop. So once you stop at the stop sign, you make your first stop at the stop sign. If it's a normal stop sign, you should move up to where you can see traffic a little bit better and stop again. Okay, uh, one other thing that I noticed that did not make it into the video is when I drove down Elliott Avenue. Um, the following images I'm going to show you um, are of Elliott Avenue. And what I want you to notice is that there's a bike lane on that road. So the important thing to remember with bike lanes is that um, um, try not to go into them <laughs> um, unless they have a broken line um, next to it. All right. So when you have the bike lane, um, 
if it has a broken line, then you can cut across the broken line part of it to go into the bike lane. And that's usually done in situations where uh, the bike and the car share the same lane or same road or at the end of the block where um, you want to move over more to the right to make a right turn. All right. So it's designed that way specifically so that cars can move over more to the right to make their right turn. So if you see a broken line and you're getting ready to make a right turn, it, it is OK. And you should move over slightly into the bike lane to make your right turn. But if the lines are solid for the bike lane, then go try to go around it. Um, and that's whether you're making a right turn onto a road that already has a bike lane or you're coming off a road that has a bike lane. All right. So that's an important thing to remember over here. I don't know if they're going to take you to Elliott Avenue. It is very possible because it's only about maybe two to three blocks away from um, Juniper Boulevard where you start your test at. So it's not very far away. So it's very possible that they can take you on to that road. And um, you want to be careful of it because you don't want to fail for cutting across the bike lane when you were, were, were not supposed to or driving in the bike lane when you were not supposed to. All right. Okay, the last video got cut off a little short. So like I said, um, I, when I do come to Queens, I prefer to do my take my people to either Laurelton or Jamaica, uh, Queens. Um, this area is not bad. Um, it's okay. Um, it, it's not my preference for my students. Um, but... <clears throat> It's, it's not a bad area. It's not a lot of, um, I don't see a lot of tricky things over here. Um, um, but I may do a follow-up video um, if I find out more information. Um, and I'll do some research on the area and see um, if there are any particular tricky things in this area that, um, that I did not cover in this video. All right? Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you can. And um, I'll be putting out more videos. And thanks to those who are already subscribers. Um, thanks a lot. See you later.